I'm going to start with congratulations. Uh, oh, this, thank you. You guys literally did the impossible. You made something that's very respectful of Chadwick, but also keeping the franchise going, introducing all these new characters. Right. I, I don't think people realize the level of difficulty in, in making this film. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> no, it was tough. I mean, it's, you know, uh, it was already going to be tough just trying to make a sequel to the first film because of how it was received and, and how it sort of hit people. Uh, and then obviously got complicated by by Chad's passing and and sort of our kind of human reactions to that event. And, uh, you know, I think Ryan uh, figured out a way to sort of maybe do the impossible, which is to marry the emotion of what was happening and 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 art and art and uh, imitating life to a degree, but also delivering on the promise of characters like uh, Namor and Natalo Khan and Riri Williams. I mean, there's there's a lot of a lot of ideas in the movie that don't feel like they're in, in conflict with each other. Um, and it hopefully makes for an epic experience for people. Uh, 100%. So I have, I have some look, speed round questions, Let's if you it. will. Uh, what is the status of this untitled Wakanda series? Yeah, so it, look, it uh, uh, because of the amount of time and attention that went into this film and frankly, the Ironheart show, that is that is probably not as far along as people want it to be, but there are certainly great ideas that we're still talking to Ryan about. So we'll we'll see how far we can get with it. What is the status of Ironheart in terms of is it is it done filming? It's is it nearly filming? complete? I think they they might be on their second to last day, if I'm not mistaken. I heard and I, I want you to clarify. Sure. I heard rumors that originally at the end of the credits of Wakanda Forever, you were going to have a a final credit scene. Was that ever the case? No, actually, uh, uh, and I've heard those rumors too. No, you know, I think the uh, subject matter of the film was such that it it didn't feel appropriate to have then like a stinger. You know what I mean? And much like uh, Endgame felt like an emotional experience that you also didn't need like a stinger at the end of this. This felt like we we just wanted to tell the story as 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 it was conceived without uh, without an added added bonus. So unfortunately there isn't an end credits. Uh, I think the mid credit scene is phenomenal yeah. and perfect. And yeah. I am glad there's nothing at the end. Yeah. I, you guys totally made the right call. Yeah. Um, uh, what were some of the alternate titles that this film almost was called? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, there was a, literally like a list of hundreds. Um, that's what Black Panther 3 is for. That's right. <laughs> no, and, and, you, and, you, and you start to as <laughs> you're like, like Kingdom of the Deep, like you're like, does it have to be about Namor? And then we realize that that Wakanda Forever felt right because it's a story about um, sort of triumph through adversity. It's a story about legacy. It's a story about persistence. And Wakanda Forever says all those things. You know, initially, I will say this uh, at one point, it was like, oh, that feels like the title of the third movie. Like, where do you go from Wakanda forever? That feels like it's the end. But no, it's it's actually, it felt really appropriate thematically to the story we were t trying to tell. The mid credit scene yeah. is phenomenal. Yep. How early on did you know that was going to be the scene? Pretty early on. I mean, that was that was always the end of the movie. Uh, uh, pretty much since Chad's passing, um, I think the first draft we got uh, had that in there. Um, and... And the notion of, of the character introduced in that scene actually predated Chad's passing, to be quite honest. We always liked the idea that... that, uh, that uh, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. So, so um, but it was repurposed kind of thematically once Chad passed um, and hopefully feels like um, renewal at a, after a time of adversity. I'm curious about the strength of the Atlanteans on the bridge. Yes. Because they are, um, they basically get their ass kicked. Yeah. I mean, fatal blows and they yeah. get up. Yeah. How do you describe their powers? Yeah, we've talked a lot about that. Like, uh, are they sort of super soldier-esque? Do they, you know, um, I'm a, a bit of a nerd. So I used to play the Marvel Heroes role-playing game. And you're like, wait, do they have like body armor? Like, do they have like a... A 10? What is, um, but no, we, we sort of see them as sort of super soldier level, partially because they live under the water, so they're a bit tougher, their skin's a bit tougher, um, their bones probably are lighter, but their muscle density is increased, so so they are uh, uh, stronger than humans, certainly, um, and were able to withstand a Koye's otherwise killing strokes, um, much to her frustration, um, which I think makes them incredibly formidable, so, so if and when we see them again, I think whoever comes across them might be in some trouble. 
I would agree with that statement. Yeah. Um, what is your next Marvel project? Uh, Captain America New World Order. And where are you in the development? We are in pre-production. We start shooting next spring. Oh, yes. I just realized what this is all. Um, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you have a script that you guys are super happy with? Uh, we do. We do. Can you tease? Uh, well, look, uh, Sam Wilson's Captain America, he is going to bring his own team to play. And it's no secret that, you know, Samuel Stearns is making his return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, uh, which is fantastic because Tim Blake Nelson is the best. And uh, Harrison Ford is taking on the role of General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. Um, and and to see Sam Wilson and, and, and Thunderbolt Ross, which if you remember, actually threw him in prison at the end of Civil War because he violated the Sokovia Accords, there's gonna be some natural sparks there, which I think are gonna be really fun. Do you foresee uh, Black Panther? Listen, I know you, the movie hasn't even come out yet. Yeah. But obviously, Black Panther is going to be a, a huge part, and these characters are going to be a huge part of the MCU going forward. Yeah. Do you envision a Black Panther three in the next three four years, or do you think this is going to be something where the Wakanda and the characters are just sort of embedded into the rest of the MCU? That's a great question, and and to be honest, and this is not me. Uh, this is this is not me trying to not uh, answer the question. We really want to see how audiences receive the film, you know, and I think Ryan's really interested to see how the film plays before we decide. There are certainly ideas we've floated around of what a, a third film could be if we get to make it, but uh, but until uh, the movie comes out, we, we certainly, we're a bit superstitious in that way. We don't want to count our chickens because uh, you never know what's going to happen. This is going to be a monster hit. Okay. Like, this isn't even a debate. <laughs> like, I've, I've, like, I mean... I hope you're correct. This, this movie is going to be massive because it's so good, right. and also people, people are going to love it. Um, did you end up with a lot of deleted scenes on this movie? We ended up with some deleted scenes, yeah. When you say some, I'm curious what that actually means. Uh, more than two, less than ten? Uh, no, there's some great stuff. I mean, uh, I would say every character has... Every character, maybe not every character, a lot of characters have scenes that, that are great scenes that the movie just couldn't bear. It's already a relatively long movie, um, but, uh, uh, and we wanted to make sure the movie felt as focused as it could while doing as much as it's doing, um, but there are some deleted scenes that are really cool. How much of those deleted scenes were like close to completed or completed before being removed? Ah, um, I think there's a spectrum. There's some, there's some that sort of, from the director's cut didn't make it forward. There's some that we played with for a long time and screened and screened multiple times. Um, we're kind of notorious for tinkering a lot in editorial and trying things, and, and Ryan, by the way, is as well. Uh, so things are in, things are out. What about this over here? Um, so some are closer to completion, some are, are pretty raw. Well, my thing is that with Disney Plus, and obviously yeah. you want people to go to the streaming site yeah. at, at some point, so how much are you guys already talking about, like, look, we can do the Black Panther Wakanda Forever extended cut sure. and put it on Disney Plus. Yeah, we you know we've we've typically resisted that and I think we'll continue to because we like to think we and the filmmakers landed on on what the movie should be. So I don't know that we'll ever assemble into I'll never say never. I don't think we'll assemble into a longer like director's cut, but certainly I think there's ways to get those scenes out there in the world without building a, an extended edition. Yeah, it's called premiering on Collider. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, um, what is the la what is the one scene that if you could put it back in the movie, like the thing that you, the last thing you cut out before picture locking? Right. I mean, there's there's certainly a scene um, with Okoye and Io after Okoye has been fired. That's really interesting. Um, that again, I think is incredibly watchable. It just it just slowed the pace down of the movie a little bit, but uh, you get to see Akoya react to sort of the new general, and you and you get to see what she was planning to do before uh, before the events of of Namor and, and the Talokan coming to Wakanda happened. It's it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, anytime you want to show it to me, <laughs> literally send me a text and I will respond. There you go. You know, on that note, I'm just going to say congrats. It really is going to be a huge hit. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate so, it.